Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here. Today I will be guiding you through a side plank vinyasa yoga flow. Let's begin in a child's pose. So coming into a tabletop position on hands and knees, all fours. Untuck your toes, bring your big toes together. Knees can be farther out to the side or closer together, it's up to you. And you'll sit your hips back down towards your heels. Arms can reach out in front of you. Or you can also have your hands towards your feet. Rest your forehead down. Allow the hips to lower down towards the heels. And come into your breath. Notice how your body is feeling. Observe where you are holding on to some tension, tightness, or stiffness in your body today. And follow the flow of your breath as it moves in and out through the nose. We'll just be here for a few more breaths. Start to shift your weight forward, coming back into that tabletop position. From here, let's just take a quick moment to warm up the wrist, since we will be putting some weight on the wrist throughout our flow today. So spread your fingers nice and far apart in your tabletop and just start to shift the weight forward and then back. Moving nice and slow here. Perhaps as you inhale, you shift forward and as you exhale, you move back. Good, from here, find center and turn your hands out so the fingers will go out to the edges of your mat. Wrists are towards one another. And then just start to shift from right to left. And as you shift to the right, your left hand or your left wrist might lift up. And as you shift to the left, the right wrist might lift up a bit. Move slowly and still work with your breath here. Good, from here, find center once again. And now turn your hands so the fingers are facing towards your knees. Palms are still down. And you can stay just like this. Or if you would like to, you can start to shift the weight back, maybe peeling the wrists or the base of the palms up off of the ground. And then you can shift forward once again and then shift back. If you would like to stay here while you're shifted back, you can do that as well or you can continue to move. Okay, find center, fingers face forward, fingers are spread nice and far apart. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees up just to a hover above the mat. Shoulders are stacked over top of your wrists and the hips are stacked over top of the knees. Good, release. From here, coming into a variation of side plank. Warming up the body here still. Bring your right foot off of the mat, so pivoting the right shin out. Left leg will extend long. Right hand is planted down, and then the left arm will reach up. You can look 
towards the left hand if you like, or you can look straight out in front of you towards the wall in front. If you would like to, you can reach the left arm straight overhead, fingers towards the front of the space. Good, and then bring your left hand back down, bring your left knee back in, tabletop. And we'll just do that on the other side now. Left shin will come out to the left, your foot is off of the mat, right leg will extend long to the back of your mat. Left hand is down and the right arm will reach up. Look wherever feels good for you. Option to look up towards the right fingers. Ground down into the left hand, the left knee and the right foot. You can stay here with the right arm or you can reach it straight overhead. Reaching the fingers towards the front of the space, bicep is directly over the ear. Good, release the right hand and the right knee down, tabletop. From here, bring your hands a little bit farther out in front of you, fingers are still spread nice and far apart. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back into your first downward facing dog. From here, you can find some movement. You can pedal it out through the legs, bending one knee as you straighten the other, move back and forth. Maybe you shift your hips from side to side. Find anything that you would like here. And then begin to walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands onto your shins, reach your heart forward, find so much length through your spine, and then fold down over your legs as you exhale. Walk your hands out to the top of your mat into a plank pose. From here, bring your right knee down, bring your right foot off of your mat, left foot plants down, left arm opens up, we're back into this variation of side plank. Bring the left hand down, come back into plank pose. Shift the weight forward and then shift the weight back. Shift forward and then back. Find center, bring the left knee down, bring the left foot off of your mat to the left. Right foot will plant down, left hand is down, right arm is up. So we're in this variation of side plank now on the other side. Just here for a little bit longer, stay with your breath throughout practice. Bring the right hand down, come back into high plank. Lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes, arms go long alongside your body, palms are down. Lift everything up off of the ground. Stay here and breathe. Lower down, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and take it back into downward facing dog, tucking the toes under. You can come through tabletop or plank, it's up to you. And then lifting the hips up and back. The knees can be as bent as they need to be here. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Once you are there, come into a nice halfway lift. Hands can be onto the shins. Reach your heart forward, exhale to fold down. Walk your hands out to the top of your mat, plank pose. From here, we're working into side plank. Right hand will be down, left arm will reach up. So you can come back into that variation with the right knee down. Or you can keep both legs extended out towards the back of your mat. Your feet can be stacked or staggered. Bring the left hand down, high plank. And then we're going to do that just on the other side now. Left hand down, right arm will reach up. One more big strong breath here. 
Right hand will lower down to the mat, high plank. Shift the weight forward and then back. Find center, lower all the way down to the ground. Arms go long next to your body, palms can face down. When you are ready, inhale, lift everything up into your locust pose. Exhale here, and we'll stay for a couple of breaths. Lower down, hands underneath your shoulders, make your way back into your downward facing dog. However you would like to get there is good. Take your time. There's no need to rush. From here, step your right foot through in between your hands, top of the mat. Hands are just on the mat, framing your foot. You're just on the fingertips, so the palms are lifted. Your chest is hovering over your right thigh. Stay here for one more breath. Good, plant both hands down, step the right foot back to plank. Take it back to downward facing dog. Right away, the left foot will step through in between the hands. Come up just onto the fingertips. Your chest is super low over your left thigh. The palms are lifted here. One more big breath here, reach your heart forward, cultivating some strength in the legs. Plant the hands firmly down onto the mat. Step the left foot back, plank pose, back to downward facing dog. You can have the knees as bent as you need them to be in downward facing dog. Make this practice work for you. Let's walk the hands back to the feet back of the mat. As you inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Walk your hands out to the top of your mat. Side plank with the right hand down, the left arm will reach up to the sky. Lift your hips up a little bit higher. Bring the left hand down. Side plank with the left hand down, right arm will reach up. The feet can be stacked or staggered. You can bring the left knee down if that works better for you. Bring the right hand down. Let's come back into high plank. From here, lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes, extend your arms long next to your body, palms down. And as you inhale, lift everything up off of the ground. Lower down, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Make your way back into your downward facing dog. Take one breath here in your downward facing dog before we move on with our flow. Right foot will step through in between the hands, top of the mats. You can keep the fingertips just down on the mat like we did before. Or if you would like to take this pose a little bit further, you can bring your hands together at heart center, or you can reach your arms out into a T off to either side. Keep your chest low over your right thigh. Bring your hands down to the mat, step back to plank pose, and then lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths in your downward facing dog. Good, left foot will step through in between the hands. Tent up onto your fingers so the palms are lifted, framing the left foot. And you can stay just like this, or you can bring the hand together at heart center, or you can reach your arms out into a T, off to either side. Keep your chest super low over your left thigh. 
working on strengthening the back body. Bring your hands down to your mat, step the left foot back, plank, and then take it back to downward facing dog. Stay in your downward facing dog, find any movements that feel good for you, and breathe here. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold down. Walk your hands forward to the top of your mat. Moving on with our flow, right hand down, left arm up, side plank. Bring the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Bring the right hand down so you're in plank pose. Take your time to lower down to the ground. Untuck your toes, extend your arms long next to your body. Inhale, lift everything up off of the ground. Lower down, hands underneath the shoulders. Make your way back into your downward facing dog. Step your right foot through in between your hands, top of the mat. Bring your hands together at heart center or extend your arms out to the sides into that T. From here, bring all of your weight into your right leg. We're coming up into warrior three. So find your balance, lift the left leg up, reach your heart forward, lift your chest up, Think of lifting the left leg up so that it is parallel to the ground. Flex the left toes down towards the ground. Bring your hands down to frame the right foot. Step the left foot back. Right foot will step back. Downward facing dog. Take one more breath here. Left foot will step through, top of the mat in between the hands. Bring your hands together at heart center, hover your chest over your left thigh. If you would prefer, you can bring your arms out into a T. Bring your hands back together at heart center if you had them out. Bring all of your weight to your left leg. Slowly take your time to start to lift the right leg up, flex the right toes towards the ground. Reach your heart forward, lift your chest up. Think of lifting your right leg up so it is parallel to the ground. Stay here and breathe. Good, bring your hands down to the mat, step the right foot back. And then the left foot back, plank pose to downward facing dog. Here in your downward facing dog, you can find any movement that feels good for you. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Bring your hands to your shins, halfway lift. Exhale to fold down over the legs. Walk yourself out into a high plank. Hands come to the top of your mat. Come into side plank with the right hand down and the left arm reaches up. Right fingers on the mat are spread nice and far apart. Your feet can be stacked or staggered. Your right knee can be down on the mat if you prefer. Bring the left hand down, plank pose, and then into side plank on the other side. So left hand down, right arm up. 
Make sure your left fingers are spread nice and far apart. One more big breath here. Right hand will come down, plank pose. Lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes, arms go long next to your body. Lift everything up off of the ground as you inhale. As you exhale, stay in the pose. Take one more breath here in locust. Lower down, hands come underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes under, make your way back into downward facing dog. Right foot will step through in between the hands. Bring your hands together at heart center, hovering crescent lunge. Make your way up into warrior three, lift the left leg up so it is about parallel to the ground. Lift your chest up a little bit. Think of upward facing dog or cobra in your upper back. And then start to stand, bring the left knee in towards your chest, standing on the right leg. From here, extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Reach your arms up overhead. Can you lift the left leg up a little bit higher? Make sure you're not leaning forward or back. Shoulders are over top of the hips. And then to release, come out of this super slowly. Step the left foot back to the back of your mat and the hands will come down to the mat to frame your right foot. How slowly can you move through this transition? And then once you are there, the right foot will step back. Take the hips up, downward facing dog. Left foot will step through in between the hands. Right away, hands together at heart center, hovering crescent lunge. And then lift the right leg up, warrior three. Lift the chest up. Right leg is about parallel to the ground. Flex the toes down. And then begin to stand up on the left leg. Bring the right knee in towards your chest. Reach your arms up, extend your right leg long. Can you lift the right leg up a little bit higher? Make sure you're not leaning forward or back. Shoulders are over top of the hips. And then super, super slowly, maybe even more slowly than you did on the first side, we're going to step the right foot back, back of the mat, and the hands will come down to frame the left foot at the top of the mat. Move more slowly, take your time here. Then once you are finished, step the left foot back, plank to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. As you inhale, take a halfway lift. As you exhale, fold down. Walk your hands out in front, top of the mat, plank pose. Right hand will be down as you come into side plank. If you would like to, you can lift the left leg up. Lower the left leg down, lower the left hand down, plank pose. Let's do that now on the other side. Right arm will lift up. If you would like to, you can lift the right leg up as well. Lower your leg down, lower your right hand down. Plank pose, lower all the way down to the ground. Arms will go long next to your body. As you inhale, lift up into your locust pose. Take one more breath here in your locust. Lower down. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Take it back into your downward facing dog. Coming up through plank or tabletop. 
whatever works for you. Step your right foot forward in between the hands. Hovering crescent lunge, hands come together at heart center. And then when you're ready, straight into warrior three. Lift your left leg up, flex the toes down towards the ground to keep the entire leg a little bit more engaged. Start to bring the left knee in towards your chest as you come up to stand. Reach your arms up, extend your left leg long. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. Can you lift the left leg up just a little bit higher? And then super, super slowly start to take it back into your runner's lunge. Left foot will come all the way back to the back of your mat. Hands will come down to frame your right foot. Left hand will stay down to the inside of your right foot and the right arm will reach up, coming into a twist. Take one more breath here. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Step the right foot back to plank. Downward facing dog, lift those hips up and back. We'll take about three to five breaths here before we do that on the other side. Okay, from here, our second side. Left foot will step through in between the hands. Chest is hovering just over your left thigh. Hands come together at heart center. And lift your right leg up so it is about parallel to the ground. Flex the toes towards the ground. Lift your chest up a little bit. Start to bring the right knee in towards your chest as you come up to stand, shoulders over the hips. Reach your arms up. When you're ready from here, extend your right leg long in front of you. Can you lift your right leg up higher? Make sure you're not leaning back at all. Super, super slowly start to take it back into your runner's lunge. Right foot will step all the way back, back of the mat. Hands will come down to frame the left foot. Right hand will stay down to the inside of the foot. Left arm will open up as you come into your twist. Couple more breaths here. Bring the left hand down to the mat. Step the left foot back to plank. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Walk your hands back to the back of your mat. As you inhale, take it into a halfway lift. Exhale to fold down. Walk your hands out, top of the mat. Side plank on the right hand. We're going to flow a few times from side plank on the right to the left side. Left hand will come down, side plank on the left side. Right hand will come down, side plank on the right side. Left hand comes down, reach your right arm up. Let's pick up the pace a little bit here, right hand will come down. Back to plank, left hand down, right arm up. Back to plank, left arm will reach up. Side plank on the left side, 
Side plank on the right side. Once more on each side. Side plank on the left. Side plank on the right. Come back to plank. Lower your knees down to the ground and take a child's pose. Bring the big toes together. Knees can be farther apart or closer together. Whatever you like. Rest here. Feel your breath. Notice how you are feeling. Notice any sensations in the body. Shift forward, come into your tabletop. We are going to do a variation here of hovering tabletop, which we did at the beginning of class. So we will add on to that. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees up just to a hover above the ground. You can stay right here if you would like, or you can start to bring the left knee towards the left elbow or the tricep. Lower the foot back down. Bring the right knee to the elbow or the tricep, right side. Bring it down, rest your knees down, take a child's pose. Walk your hands back towards your knees, come to a seat, and just make your way onto your back from here. Taking your time to get there. And then when you are ready, extend your left leg long and hug your right knee in towards your chest. Fingers can interlace around the right shin. You can take the right knee from right to left a little bit. Maybe take it into some big circles. Perhaps you hold it in a spot that is feeling extra tight. You just hold it there for three breaths or so, working into that area. Extend your right leg long. Begin to bring your left knee in towards your chest. Fingers interlace around the left shin. And again here, you can find any movement that feels good. Maybe take the left knee from side to side. Maybe take it into some big circles. And as you're doing this movement, if there's any part of that movement, that feels extra tight or stiff. You can hold it there and work to release some of that tension. Keep your breath flowing.
Extend your left leg long. Release into your Shavasana. So the legs go long, arms go long. Taking up as much space as you would like. If it feels better though, you can bend your knees, planting the feet down onto the mat. That can feel nice for the low back if you are experiencing some tension or stiffness or soreness in that part of your body. If there are any kinds of movements or adjustments that you need to make, you can do that. And then when you are ready, find stillness. Come to a place where you can simply be. Begin to bring some movement into your body. Breathe a little bit deeper. Make your way over onto one side, right or left, when you feel ready. And you can use your arm as a pillow to rest your head on. Make your way up to a comfortable seated position where we will close off our class. You can have your hands together at heart center or your hands down on your lap. Let's take a big breath here together. Inhale. Hold it at the top. Exhale, let it go. Thank you so very much for being here and for sharing your practice with me. If you enjoyed this class, I would love if you subscribe to my channel, if you gave this video the thumbs up, the like button, or if you leave me a comment letting me know how you are feeling after class, what you enjoyed about this class. You can also let me know what kinds of classes you would like to see on my channel in the next few weeks. 
and I will definitely take that into consideration. I hope you have a wonderful day. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.